We're going to walk you through exactly what happened in game number one on day number two here in Vegas. Jalen Brown went off yesterday. She had 22. She dropped 25 today, ladies. Senior urgency. You want to extend your career as long as you can. A little bit later on, Erin McDonald. That's a nice lob inside to Kate Reese, and she set the tone early. Well, what a pass down low, and that was the theme of the day for me is Arizona's offense. Their defense had some great takeaways like that one from Erin McDonald that pushed them, but today I, I thought it was their offense that led the way. All right, a little bit later on, More they're pushing Kate the pace. Reese. Yeah, <laughs> Get and her a play to Kate Reese. <laughs> she was fired up, no doubt about it. Pueo Loco from up top. Arizona up 17, they were feeling it. I like the three when they penetrate and then kick out. Sam Thomas knocking it down. Remember, when these two teams played on Sunday, Arizona had one three-pointer. Dominique McBride, one of four Wildcats in double figures. Arizona up 18 at that point. And then again, more Kate Reese, can't say enough about how she balled out today. One thing, man, there was a lot of Arizona Wildcats hitting the hardwood. Ari McDonald was down at least five times. Kate Reese fell hard a couple of times. Those bumps and bruises add up. You want them to be healthy uh, to face that winner tomorrow. Ari McDonald, it came down to it. She only had eight points and then finally breaking through to get 10 points and finished with 13. So that means that her double-digit scoring streak is still alive. Every single game of her entire career. 65 straight games in double figures. Wow. That is wow. the longest active streak in the NCAA currently.